Shout out to the Midnight Sun, though. I definitely think that my favorite character in the show might be him. Veto? I truly think so. I think he embodies everything that's in willpower, man. And not only that, I just like how he really just whooped everybody's ass. And it's like everybody's still getting their ass whooped. And he does it in such a sleek way. And he just reminds me of a cooler saber tooth. Cooler. Like, I never liked saber tooth, so. Did you? I mean, I like him as a villain for Wolverine, but I could feel you on Which that. One, I don't think though? he's cooler. Huh? Which version? Did you like the animation series Sabretooth? Yeah. I can see why I nah, can see why wow. you wouldn't like that him. That nigga was trash. That was easily a trash Sabretooth, bro. Like, I, mean, I, I don't, I don't remember ones. it. Like you probably watched it more recently. I don't really remember like that, but yeah, I do he was remember. trash, bro. Like <laughs> that's the only reason why I like this dude, because he doesn't like he doesn't sound as corny, his voice isn't as Thing and obnoxious, and he just seems like a sleeker, like smoother, um, a sleeker, smoother, uh, saber tooth. And I actually like the fight scenes more with him. Like I like the way he moves. I like. Yeah, I don't know. Movements. This nigga just like he's pretty lit to me, and he's a villain. So yeah, I do like the fact that his his magic is based on combat. So it's not like just all these magic appearing. No, he's going hands with you. And you. And, Hey, niggas eating shots. <laughs> niggas try to tag to you. He just ate that shit like nothing happened. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised you chose him though, because I feel like him coming up first to fight them means that he's gonna be taken out first from third eye. I just like him though. I don't like. I just I connect. I just think he really just reminds me of Cooler Saber too. Like that. Now he does resemble a Saber too a lot. Yeah, 100 yeah. percent and a Thundercat. I like, don't know about that one. Bro. Nah, he, nah, he <laughs> resembles. He resembles a Thundercat too. Uh, I definitely see. I definitely see a Thundercat because thunder yeah. thunder all the Thundercats look exactly like that. They all look like just cheetahs. They all look like human cats. I like the Black Bulls because I think they all realize that they need each other, and that's one Duh. thing that I think is dope. Like I feel like a lot of the other, yeah, but I feel like a lot of the other uh, groups. Like, they feel like they're, like, the best magical users in the world. And they just, I'm better than everybody. And the Black Bulls be on some shit. Like, even Ghost. Like, I feel like Ghost was mad cocky before. But he was, like, right now, he was, like, damn, what I learned from Austin last time. Yo, I actually need to work with my niggas or I'm not going to win this fucking battle. Mm-hmm. So they're starting to learn, like, shit like that. And even Magna and, uh, and Luck, they were, like, yo, I just got to stay alive until Austin gets here. Once that nigga gets here, I pass that shit on to him. We'll figure it out. At the end of the day, as long as the Black Bulls win, we don't care. I still was about to fucking die right now. And then they Shorty came in and saved his ass. Too. That's uh, what I'm yeah. saying. They all needed teamwork to be my dude. And that's why I respect it because he's making them have to literally fight to the fight to the nitty gritty. And people about to um people about to get knocked out. I just hope that my dude stays alive because I truly like him and I would really be ass if he died. I don't think he's gonna die. He's not gonna die. He's gonna get severely injured. Yeah, because I don't think any of them got killed yet. I don't think any of them got killed yet. I wonder if anybody, if they're gonna kill anybody. Yeah, person that got the the biggest injury is for Rolion. That's it, nigga. I think he lost an arm and shit. So we'll see. Lip got fucked up. Nah, what our arm must spit. That dude we thought that got killed was the one who was like who he got picked up in the fucking wagon or whatever by by his dude. Oh, the diamond mage. Yeah, 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 he got fucked up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, (laughs) man. I feel like when it comes to like side characters, Black Clover does them the best. Well, I won't say the best. best. They do them. They make it easier for me to relate to them faster. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I I cheer them on a lot quicker because we got backstories to the Magna and Lux relationship mad quick. Even with all the Black Bulls, all these fights we've seen, like we have two fights of the Black Bulls from uh, like four different, five different of the members in two episodes. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's like, mm-hmm. with flashbacks, yep. you know what I'm saying? Included. Why, yeah, included. <laughs> and on why they fuck with each other so much. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that, I really, I don't know, man. This is very unconventional way of telling the story and telling people's backstory, but I enjoy it that way. Yeah, they do a good job of not relying on Asta having to be the person to fight every time to mm-hmm. allow the show to really still be intriguing. 